In the secluded sewers, you'll have the goal of obtaining one main item of treasure and three hidden caches like several of the other heists. Just like the underground set Plucur and the hideaway, this main piece of treasure will spawn in one of two locations, whilst the hidden caches in will spawn across a variety of different points. The secluded sewers can be run as a circuit, meaning you don't need to spend time to hunt all over the heist location to pick up everything you need and just, just grab it on the way. The first possible spawn location is in the first room, underneath the first NPC you encounter. You can get to it via the spiral ramp, but it is also possible to drop down the gap between the central pillar and the platform. After here, head back up the wooden spiral ramp and then turn right and head up the next stone ramp to the top level, turning left when you get to the top to head east down the corridor. This corridor has three tripwire traps to watch out for. I have of course deliberately shown you how not to get through them. This heist has a lot of traps, so beware of these. The first possible location for a main treasure is down the stairs and in a small room on the left. Watch out for the three NPCs in this area. Another possible spawn location for the caches is in a hidden cave directly above. As well as being aware of the NPCs downstairs, there is a sentry patrolling across the top to be careful of. This heist can feature either sentry or trap laying types. To continue on the circuit, you need to be a little patient with the NPC guarding the door. He will move between two locations, so once he has moved away from the door, you are free to proceed. The following corridor then contains a number of bear traps and a trip, trip wire trap at the end. You can move through this room by watching the locations of the two sentry NPCs and hugging the right hand wall. This trip wire across the door can be a little tricky though if you get a trap laying sentries as they often put a flare trap down covering the trip wire. There is sometimes though a hidden cache to be found in the room, just make sure you open it while stood to the right hand side of the chest to avoid the sentry's stealth suppression field. Watch out for the NPC on the left there, and also the bear traps in this next corridor. The next room contains the other possible location for the main treasure, but first you can sometimes find a hidden cache under the ramp, just turn right as you enter the room. There is also a hidden cache spawn location on the other side of the room. The main treasure can be obtained by going up the ramp in this room, watching out for the NPCs who patrol by the bottom of it. There is then another NPC who patrols the top of the location and you might need some patience to get past him. When he moves to the furthest point from the ramp, move to the hiding spot and jump in and wait for him to return. Once he has moved back past you, you can then move around as shown to cross the beam that spans the centre of the room to get to the main treasure. Once you have the treasure, you can then just jump down and head out the door to the west, being careful once more of the NPC who patrols here and also the tripwire traps that lie throughout the next corridor. Coming into the room with the sewer canal running through the middle, there is a hidden cache location inside a wooden hut on the left hand side as you head south. There is another location found to the north of the room. Here you need to be careful of the NPC who patrols the top of the steps, but to get to it you need to jump down into the water and head through the tunnel. The cache can then be found up the steps. Returning out of this location can require patience sometimes to find the right window of opportunity to leave.
There is a tripwire to be careful of as you head west out of the room. Also watch out for the narrow gap in the floor and the multiple guards who patrol the area. This next corridor also contains multiple traps to be wary of. One final location to show you should you need it is a spawn location for a cache behind the crates on the opposite side of the next room. There are two NPCs nearby, one of whom is static, however if you come to the crates from the right hand side, putting the crates between you and the NPCs, you should still be able to unlock the cache without being spotted. Once done, head up at the corridor leading north to take you back to the first room, being careful of a couple more traps and the possibility of a boss spawn. Then exit west to get back to Farandar to complete the quest. I hope you found this series beneficial. Please subscribe to see more videos by myself as I release them. I also now stream several days a week on Twitch, so come and find Dragon Games work over on Twitch there as well.